Um, obviously, there is, um, you know, a lot of possessions there in the third, going into the fourth. A um, couple of runs where we just weren't able to able to capitalize on our end. I thought we were able to get um, some really good looks. Um, just, you know, one of those nights where it's kind of tough to get them to fall. Didn't get to the line quite as much um, as they did. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely just one of those games where we weren't able to kind of um, uh, match some of the runs that they had there at the end of the game. Steve talked about how you guys need to just start the game and also start the second half a lot better. It's kind of been one of the trending things that we've seen in the last couple of games. Is there anything specifically that you've seen from your vantage point for being that reason? Uh, nothing specifically. Um, I mean, obviously, it's one of those things that will be a lot easier to dissect when we watch film on it. Um, you know, it's a quick turnaround, but I think it, it, it certainly has been a consistent theme so far this season and, you know, even dating back to the last couple of years where, you know, we do have a tendency to um, start games a little slow and start uh, the second half a little slow. So it's one of those things where, you know, we just got to make sure that everybody across the board, bench included, energy is right. And, uh, you know, you come out with an aggressive mindset to start games in the second half. And it's the first back-to-back -back you got to take on Dallas tomorrow night. Uh, what do you walk away with the biggest improvement that you want to see for tomorrow? Um, you know, obviously a tough back-to-back -back here uh, to start the year, but, you know, it's, it's, it's again sort of the same thing that we were just discussing where, you know, Dallas doesn't care that we're on a back-to-back. -back. Um, we got to come out with, with the right energy and the right start tomorrow and then just, you know, kind of build from there.